It is widely known that the Big Bang happened around 13.8 billion years ago, and while this number is quite accurate, it overlooks a very important point. So we'll discuss how we got this number, and why it might be not completely wrong, but misunderstood. In the year 1929, the great astronomer Edwin Hubble discovered that our galaxy, the Milky Way, is one among billions of other galaxies all around the universe, and that the universe itself is expanding, which means that the universe is smaller in the past. And the farther you go into the past, the smaller it gets, until it reaches the Planck length, a length so tiny that all of our understanding of physics breaks down. This is what the cosmologist Fred Hoyle called the Big Bang. Hubble also discovered that the longer the distance between galaxies, the faster they move apart. This relationship will later be known as Hubble's law, an elegant equation relating a galaxy's distance to its velocity. If you flip the equation to see how much time it would take for the galaxy to reach its current distance, and estimate the rate of expansion using the oldest light in the universe, the cosmic microwave background, we were able to estimate that the universe is about 13.8 billion years old. That is impressive, but the calculation overlooks a profound aspect of our universe. In his general theory of relativity, Einstein stated that time is not absolute. There is no universal clock for the cosmos. Time is also woven with space, together forming the fabric of the universe itself, space-time. In regions of strong gravity, time slows down. In weaker gravity, it speeds up. This is not a theory anymore, it is one of the most confirmed ideas in physics. So when we apply this to the entire universe, something interesting occurs. You see, the universe is not uniform. There are regions like galaxy clusters full of matter with very strong gravitational fields. Other regions of the universe are almost empty, complete nothingness and darkness spanning millions of light years. This uneven distribution of matter causes time to flow differently across the universe. In galaxy clusters, time flows more slowly. In supervoids, it flows faster, meaning that some parts of the universe have experienced more time since the Big Bang than others, which implies that the universe doesn't have a single age, but a range of ages depending on the observer's location. So when we say the universe is 13.8 billion years old, that's more like an average, a baseline from our position in the universe. But in fact, it is a relative local experience depending on where the observer is. An alien civilization in a galaxy located in a great void may experience the universe as being older. So yes, the universe might be 13.8 billion years old, but only from our perspective in our local patch of space-time. We always seek to be certain. We ask how old is the universe expecting a single answer, an answer we can memorize and believe. But the universe is under no obligation to fit our expectations. It is more complex, more profound, and more beautiful. In a universe where time can stretch and warp, reality itself becomes a matter of perspective, and I personally find this as one of the most profound things about this wonderful universe. If you liked this video, check out this one exploring the concept of anti-dark matter.